Hi everyone, my name's Lisa. Um, I wanted to do my first video for a haul from the Scrapbook Expo that I went to in Pennsylvania this past weekend. Um, the first thing they do when you get there, you get a bag and you get two free gifts inside. Um, one gift is a Spectrum Noir marker. It is the D DR4 marker, um, which is nice. The past couple that I've been to was, it was like a light pink. Um, so it's nice to add to the collection. This is also the new style, the hexagon. And of course you get the glue stick. So um, I went with my friend Becky. It was her first time ever. Um, I've been to like five of them. So I was very excited to share with her all of the fun and excitement of Scrapbook Expo. Um, this year they also did something different. They did uh, where you could earn different buttons for different things. Um, if you went to the crop, uh, you got the eye cropped. If you spent a certain amount of money, um, you got an eye shopped. I think it was $150. Um, if you took a class, you got an eye learned or workshop. And if you made something at the um, create Creativity Center, um, you got an I created. And if you collect four of them, um, there were also um, I volunteered, um, I returned, I forget some of the other ones. Um, I think there were six or seven total. Um, but if you got four, then you also got this scrapbook expo lanyard and the medal at the bottom that says I conquered. Um, so, so that was pretty cool. I love collecting things. Um, so I did do the crop with my friend. So that was the first night that we were there were a bunch of make and takes. So I'll share with you some of the make and takes that we did. Uh, Craft Fantastic. We made these little pendants. If I could unstick them. I don't know what's happening. Well, if you don't throw them in a bag like I did, then you should be good. Okay. Well, um, they're jewelry. <laughs> um, so we made a square one and a circular one. This one here is one that I made at the Creativity Center. The little bead and rose. I just threw it all in one bag, hence the tangled mess. Um, then we made, I'll just show you through the plastic. Uh, it's like a little Mickey tag card. This was Paper Wizard and the tags. Um, then we made, I don't know. Um, Another card by Scrap That, using their embellishments. Um, I don't remember who this is, but we made another card. Lots of cards this year. Uh, Melissa Francis, we made another card. Uh, this was also at the Creativity Center. Um, crazy Creations, maybe? We made a little acetate pouch, and I'm not opening everything because um, it's noisy and you don't want to see everything. Uh, and then sprinkle and sparkle, or spark, sparkle and sprinkle, uh, we made a little glitter tag. So that was fun. So that was all of the making cakes. Um, also, for going to the crop, you got to pick two packages of paper. Uh, there were two My Mind's Eye. Uh, this one was the Remarkable Kit. And that's all the things that you get for the Remarkable Kit. Um, these stamps look pretty cool. Um, you know, it's fun to try new things. Um, and then this one is the Unforgettable Kit. Going with that hexagonal theme. Um, so I have not even opened those yet. Then one of the nights was um, Let's Make a Deal. And the three girls and myself at the table, we were the village people. Yeah, um, I was the cowboy. Um, and we actually won. So we won a whole bunch of stuff, more blue dots. Um, a hodgepodge book, 
Um, this is cute by DIY. So we want a whole bunch of stuff to share. So that was the crop. The crop is always fun. Um, if you've never been to one, you have to go. Dave and Betty are fantastic. They are just so much fun to be with. So some of the shopping that I did, I don't remember all the places that I went to. I'm really sorry. Um, I got these little patches. I got a Winnie the Pooh patch and the Hello Kitty patch. They're cute. Um, and I also teach. I'm a fifth grade teacher, so these binder rings come in handy, and they're all different colors to keep the kids organized. Um, then at Scrap, Scrap That, um, I always got a couple of pairs of scissors there. This pair, and then these little, little snips. They're very cute. Um, and those have already come in handy. I've used those a few times. Um, then at a store that I do not remember at all. This one says Escape Scrapbooking, but I don't know if that's really where it's from. They had a whole um, mod podge of stuff. Hodgepodge? Mod podge of stuff. Um, my friend kept going back and back and back. But there I bought some bling. Some purple. Purple is my favorite color. Uh, some circles. Blackish. These are Prima. Um, then I've never had um, one of these stamps before, but I've wanted one, the Prima Doll stamps. Um, and there were three different types there. So I picked this one. I thought she was the most versatile for me. Um, and by the time I went back, like an hour later, they were all sold out. So I'm glad I got one while I did. Um, I have pictures from when I was little at Hershey Park, so I bought some Hershey stickers and you need the Hershey paper um, then I love Candyland I have Candyland stickers so I bought some Candyland paper and I have pictures of playing Twister um, from my eighth grade birthday party um, so I bought some Twister paper and it's got some cutouts and the word Twister in there so I thought that would be really cute I was also looking for new stickles. Um, I have a stickle problem. <laughs> uh, whenever a new stickle comes out, I have to buy it. And the only two new ones um, that they had uh, was Neon Flamingo and Peacock. And I love Peacocks anyhow, and Flamingos are cute. Um, but there were only two new ones this year, so that's all I bought. Um, then I went to Scrappy Doo. And they have cutouts or die cuts. And I got little bowling pins. I was like a dollar, dollar fifty. And the word bowling. Very fancy. Um, I bought this page. I already used it though, so it just ignore the pictures. Um, the the paper is tech uh, like a texture paper, so it feels like a road. Um, and it says accidents happen, and then crash. Um, yeah, I wanted to scrapbook my car accident pictures, which is always fun. Um, but they had some unique ones there, so I bought those. Then I went to another place that I don't remember. Um, and they had feathers. I love feathers. And these were a dollar a pack, so I said, why not? Blue, pink, and teal. And again, I already used some of the things, so just ignore the picture. Um, but I got, this is one piece of Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse ears, and then the little I Love Mickey shirt. It's all cut out. It's adorable. I don't have a lot of Mickey pictures, but I had those. Um, then to continue with the die cut theme, I went to Easy Laser, Easy Laser Designs, I guess. Um, and again, I already used the pages, so I apologize. Um, but it's a two-page layout. And this one says, playing with the band. And then this one is just, it just goes with it. Um, and I like that they're easy. You just put in your pictures. You don't have to worry about anything crazy. And you can embellish as much or as little as you want. I also got this one. I have a rabbit named Chubby. 
Um, he lives up to his name. And I know that this was supposed to be a chocolate bunny, and it says bite me. Um, but sometimes he has a little attitude problem. So I thought this was a perfect page for him. So that's that one. And this page I have not done yet. Uh, but this one says, scrapbookers don't lie, they embellish. And I love glitter and embellishment, so that worked out perfectly as well. Then... Um, I had to take my friend to go see Mona Me Gabby. I love Mona Me Gabby. I have a whole drawer in my house, or my craft room, of Mo Mona Me Gabby. So I took her, and we made this little make and take. Adorable. How cute is this? I can't even stand it. So cute. Um, and the people that work at Mona Me Gabby are awesome. Um, then I got this little... I don't know what it is, but it's a cute little embellishment to go on a page. Then they gave out these little bags at the crop. Very cute. I got some orangey peachy roses and some purple roses or flowers. I don't know if they're roses. I'm not a flower grower. Um, I had to get more diamond mesh. I have every diamond mesh possible. Um, so I was running low on silver, so I got some. Uh, we also did the make and take, which that was the make and take. This is the make and take from the crop. Beautiful flowers. And then the ribbons were made, where the flowers were made of this ribbon um, that you just hold and you just poof, and it makes makes the flower. Um, I don't really know what it's called or how it works, but I got three of those. And then we went to another one of my faves. We went to Sparkle and Sprinkle. And I got some sticker paper um, to make glitter backgrounds for my stamps uh, and my cards. And then I got this fat brush to get all the glitter off after you glitter and you have extra glitter and then this glue is fantastic this is dimensional glue and you put it on your page wherever you want you put glitter on it and it stays raised it stays dimensional um, and the glitter doesn't come off so fantastic then I only bought six glitters only six I was good this time uh, I got green nugget bronze splendor Laser blue, beautiful, love that color. Pretty princess. Fire engine red. And majestic purple. So that was my sprinkle and sparkle. Sparkle and sprinkle trip. And that goes there. So then I kept hearing about um, and seeing and going online all about these La La Land stamps and Bestie stamps. <coughs> Excuse me. So I bought this La La Land stamp. It is Mod Marcy. She is the cutest I've ever seen. Uh, it's the only one I own right now, um, but I figure I'll start, start small and then build up. Um, so I have Mod Marcy. She's $11.99. Then I went to Crazy Creations and I got a little crazy. It was a problem. Yeah. Um, oh, and I'm dropping everything. Okay. So, I got some already made glitter paper. And you put on the glitter paper. Ooh, I guess I have two glitter papers. I didn't even realize. Okay, I bought two. Good. Good to have some extra. <laughs> um, and I bought these outline stickers. I got the butterflies and the cupcakes. Um, and it's really cool when you put it on the glitter paper and then you color it with Copics or whatever you would like, your Spectrum Noirs. Um, then I got Memento and Tuxedo Black. 
and espresso truffle. And I got some Crazy Creations paper um, to use my stamps and Copics on. And then I kept seeing, um, I follow another, I follow a girl who blogs on YouTube. Um, it's Crafty Life. I don't remember her first name, but she's fantastic. Um, and I see her doing these besties, my besties, my besties. So I said, what are besties? And I looked and I fell in love with them. Um, so I got this little besties. Isn't she cute? She's adorable. Um, and then I got this besties. She holds cupcakes, but it's actually the CD. So I get digi stamps and paper dolls and colored stamps. And um, I just thought I was getting a good deal. So that's exciting. And they discontinued that one, so I'm excited. And I kept saying, oh, I'm going to use Spectrum Noir, Spectrum Noir. And I ended up jumping face down into the world of Copics. Um, so these are all of the Copics that I bought from Crazy Creations. I don't know much about them yet. I tried to do one um, and it's bled everywhere. So um, I'm going to watch a few more videos and learn how to do that. Um, I think I got everything. My craft room is now a mess and the door is shut and my rabbit wants to come in. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed all the products and you have to go to a scrapbook expo. Uh, my next one will be in New Jersey in Somerset. That one is also awesome. Uh, that's my favorite one to go to. Um, so I hope to see you all soon. Have a great night. Bye.